Tom here from Lauren Systems, and Bitwarden has added a really cool new feature that I'm pretty excited about called Bitwarden Send. Now, I'm a big fan of Bitwarden. We've been using it here at the office for a while, and it's, for password management, it's been a wonderful tool. I'll leave links to my full, more in-depth reviews of Bitwarden. Now, of note, we do privately host Bitwarden behind a VPN, which means this particular feature will have to log into the public site to do. But that's okay because the idea of this is be able to send someone a password or a file and get it to them securely in an encrypted manner even when they don't have Bitwarden on the receiving end. Now, quick prerequisite for this, you need a Bitwarden account to send to do this, but you don't need it on the receiving end. So whoever you're sending to, they don't have to do anything more than be able to click a link and they're able to get to the data that you send them. And we'll give a demo of how this works. Now, it does allow for free Bitwarden accounts. You can sign up for free for Bitwarden, just register your email address. And with the free account, you can send text if you want to send a file that does require a paid Bitwarden account. So that's only prerequisites for this. And a lot of times people just want to be able to get passwords over or some piece of text that they want to get to an end user, maybe some rather sensitive instructions. And you don't want those necessarily just going out over an email. You know, you want to send these in an encrypted manner. Now, this is Bitwarden Send, but I will mention, and uh, Chris, coincidentally, uh, Bitwarden Send was coming out and I want to do a video on it, but Chris also did a video on Password Pusher. Works very much the same way and has a self-hosted option. So check out Chris's video on pass Password Pusher. Um, I also am aware of and have used YoPass. I just like the name better. Um, it's kind of another project very similar to Password Pusher. And I'll leave links to it because it's definitely pretty cool. And uh, once again, it's another open source project that you can build and host yourself. I really like the fact that Bitwarden is a professional company that we do pay for and use the licenses uh, to use it commercially and uh, having a more professional way to send this than using YoPass, although I love the name, uh, feels a little bit more integrated. Of course, you can integrate those other tools into your own domain, which may be a good idea too if you're looking at doing that. But the simplicity of doing it in Bitwarden, let's show you how it works. It's actually really easy. So I'm logged into my Bitwarden account. There's a new button up here that just says send and we create a send and we'll create a text one first. So we're gonna call it uh, my text, well, my test send. Call it whatever you want. Here is the text to keep secret. So don't share that with anyone. When accessing the send, hide the text by default. Yes, that way they gotta, you know, not just click the link, but actually open it. Copy the link of this send to my clipboard upon save. Yes, absolutely. Deletion, how long should this last or expire? Now, if you change this to custom or you want to only have this last or delete after so many days, but expire never, you can also say expire an hour. If set access to send will expire, which means it will still exist as a send, but it won't have a valid link anymore. You'll have to regenerate the link. I like that they separated these things out versus deleted versus expiration. A lot of times it's a timely thing. So you're usually going, I need to get this to the person. And uh, we'll say, I need this to last a day on either side. Just delete this. Or we can just say never on expire because it's going to delete anyways. How many times can it be accessed? Uh, get it right the first time is something probably important. So we're going to put maximum ask access count of one. I think this is also important because when you're sending someone something and you only want that someone to get it, um, once they get it, you don't want them to get it again. So save it. And if they don't, well, they'll contact you again. But this is better than uh, not having a maximum where anyone else who finds that link and then consequently maybe gets that password that you put on there uh, is you know, able to get it again. So we'll make a password of one, two, three, four, five, six. So I like the fact that you can add an extra password on there. Don't share this with anyone. Whoops, with anyone, there we go. So there's the note that they'll get. And then we hit save. Now that copied it right to my clipboard, um, but then I can always go back over here and I can remove the password from it or copy the send link again. So I'm able to edit it. I'm able to go back in here and see it myself because I'm logged into my Bitwarden account. Uh, there's that send link. So let's go ahead and open up an incognito window. And the person, you know, you email them this link, they get it. Bitwarden send, all right. They got to put a password in. There we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. The send toggle. Okay, toggle. All right, I'm ready. No one's looking over my shoulder. No one's shoulder surfing it. All right, we toggle visibility. 
Here is the text to keep secret. Copy that value. They can just copy it. And now they have that piece of information. As simple as that. So let's go ahead and uh, take the send and we'll close this window. Let's try and uh, copy send link again. It's dead. We only allowed it to be accessed once. Now the access count is zero, so to speak, because it's now counted down and says, nope, someone accessed that data. You can't send it. And if we go here to our test send, the data is still here. And if I wanted to revive it for any reason, I can. But we have a deletion date of when it's going to automatically go away. I got the data to them. They said they got it. I can just delete it out of here or you know, reinitiate it again because somewhere, somewhere in between, someone clicked on it and then had the password, which of course should just raise a whole lot of suspicion. All right, now let's go ahead and show you what it looks like when you send a file. And like I said, to send a file, you do need a paid version of Bitwarden. File test, choose file. This pfsense console.sh document seems suspicious. Maybe that's our proof of concept or something. All right, we go here, deletion date, one hour. You got one hour to uh, get this. Maximum access count, same thing, we'll do one. We'll put a password on. Same password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here is that file you wanted. And, uh, oh, co copy link to the clipboard. Saves me the trouble. Save. All right, send created. Open up an incognito window. Drop that link in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Download. Yeah, 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 I know. It could harm my computer, it says. So we have now downloaded that file. If we uh, open up another incognito window, and same thing because we only allowed it once, can't open it again. So it works much the same way. So now we've been able to get that file. The person was able to access it and done. It's as simple as that. Current access count zero. Now, if you set this, it'll tell you like what the number of access count left is. The only extra thing I think would be kind of cool, and maybe they'll add this in a future date because I didn't see it in here, would be a way to let me know what IP address had accessed it. Um, maybe some you know browser information, IP address of when I sent this out, you know who actually touched it. I think that'd be kind of cool. So if someone's listening over there, or maybe I'll go do a pull request and say, hey, you know, it'd be cool if you added this feature. Um, that's the only thing I really see that it's kind of missing right now. But other than that, I do like that it's just natively integrated in Bitwarden. And I know a lot more people have been migrating to it, or at least based on the comments, I'd say a lot more people are migrating to Bitwarden. It seems to become rather popular. And uh, I still really like the product. And this is just one more little piece of innovation that they added that, well, you know, I'm definitely excited for because sending people passwords is uh, not the most fun part of IT, but certainly a very necessary part of IT. Passwords, some instructions, some piece of information, and keeping that information private the entire way and not sending things in email because I, I look at email as just mailing a letter. Like anyone can see through it. It's very transparent. I know the, the encryption layers are existing in email in terms of the transport layer from getting here to here, but there's still a lot of visibility in email and it's not the best methodology. It was never really designed to be encrypted. So being able to send an email with a link like this in there makes a whole lot more sense. And uh, so definitely welcome tool and uh, go ahead and check it out. It's just free add on at Bitwarden that you don't have to do anything for, just log in. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a share project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.